Hello, hello everyone. Tommy Girl with you once again, and we're back with Mist 3 Exile. In the last episode, we got stranded because we chased uh, some guy who stole Atris's book when we were visiting him. And uh, we followed him here, and for some reason, Atris did not follow us. So, we chased him. He's in that building over there. Also, I have a, a journal that I read, Atris's journal, and you are welcome to check that out. I have a link in the description if you would like uh, to know the journal. I will be referring back to it for important points, but it is not something we need to know right now. Let's have a nice stroll around this island here, shall we? As you can see, we are surrounded by water here, so I turned the camera a little too too fast. <laughs> That's something I'm going to have to be a little careful of in this. I'm used to having static images, and I'm going to try not to be too spazzy. But uh, here we look, we're looking around. If you notice, there's a very much a tusk theme here on this uh, island. And it looks like there could be something to this tusk here. See, there's a symbol. That's something worth noting. Kind of looks like a window, actually. Is that a building? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. But we are just getting a preliminary look, so we will look closer at all the things later. As you can see, now this is something I think it's a little easy to miss. Uh, there's this little ladder we can get down to the beach area. So uh, last time we ran kind of up there, so let's run down to the beach. Ooh. I guess the island we find ourselves stranded on looks very pretty. Let's go across these rocks. Very nice. As you can see, there are these things, and we've been seeing them already. I haven't really made note of them yet. Um, there was a red one further over there. Um, let's see what they do, shall we? Uh underwater shot? I'm not even sure exactly what that is. Let's turn this. Oh! Well now we can see another one of those things. Okay. Turn it again. I'm noticing that these uh, spheres at the top are different colors. And here we have a nice water view. Not a lot out there. Notice how we find ourselves stranded on islands a lot. There's a lot of ocean views in our history. <laughs> Alright, so this looks like a, a, not a large island, but a lot to explore. Oh, here we go. See, here's the building, and then there's this big tusk-looking thing. So maybe if we go down here, we can get in another way. So let's try that. Oh, we can hear, see, hear the creaking sounds? The bridge? Is this bridge safe? Oh, there's a building. Look, there's a building at the uh, bottom of this tusk here. Let's try getting to that. Alright, and then... Oh, looks like there's a door and another window there. And we can climb down here as well. Interesting. What was that ball there for? Oh. Um... Flower viewpoint! <laughs> I was trying to get to that ball. You can see it right there. I guess that's a light. But look at this. Check this out. Wait. You hear that? Like you hear the loud water? Whoa. It's like, uh, picking up all the sound effects from all around the place. Oh. Creaky bridge! Of doom. I like the water. Let's see it over there. Okay, so it seems to magnify the sound from the direction that you point it. That might be useful later. And look, it looks like we can get down here from this uh, this ladder rung here. See that? Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. As I look at a wall, <laughs> I think the wall is pretty too. But that's not really what I was referring to bridge shadow. Excellent. Oh, what? 
Well, we got this building here, and then we've got something to the right. Let's check it out. Uh, little TP. Ooh, we can touch it. Touch it. Oh, you're so cute. Come here. Come here. Nope. Uh. Come here, little guy. I don't know what to call you. Let's call you Fred. Freddy Poo. Freddy Poo doesn't want any. Uh, what what is this? Uh, Freddy Poo, do you like this thing? Come come get oh come get it! Oh, he's so cute! All right, so we open this thing, and then when we push this thing, it signaled him, and he ran over here, and. When he makes that noise, these little bulby things explode, and then he goes, and nom and nom and nom and nom and nom. You're so cute, little little Fred. All right, well, you have a good time with that, Freddy. You have a good time. We're gonna go into this building now, but I might see you later. You be our little pet. We need a sidekick because Atrus apparently ditched us, didn't come after us. Atrus, I think we need to have a talk as friends. Just saying. A lever! Let's push it! Pull it! Yay! If something we've learned from traveling to all these exotic locations is if there is a lever, pull the lever! Ooh, a button! Excellent. Clearly our problem-solving skills are overwhelmingly great. Gears. They seem kind of broken. Wow, something is broken. Alright, so we seem to be inside the tusk, which is excellent. Maybe we'll find that crazy guy. What is this? We've got morbid hanging people. <laughs> but, uh, as you see, there's one guy on the side, on the left, and two on the right. And then we have the, the hanging point further to the right, since uh, these two guys on the right are heavier, it can't be in the center or the, it'll tip. So... Can we push it? Excellent. So as you can see, it's balanced because we put the... the he put the, uh, the center closer to the heavier object. And made a mobile of some kind. <laughs> Ooh, a journal. Now, uh, I am going to read this. It's not crazy long, but um, I am going to read it within this video since it's not too long, and I think it's important to the plot. Uh, but if you're not interested, I'll put an annotation so you can skip past this particular journal entry here. So let's get started. I have done it. I've used his swirling linking book to follow him. I touched my palm to its glowing panel and felt the tingling begin. There was a sudden, sickening lurch inside my stomach. Then I fell into the page. This has happened before. I know it. It happened the first time I came to this place, when I followed his murdering sons from Narayan. It happened when I used his hidden books, and it happened when I finally opened the machine, right before the fog first ate my mind. The fog didn't find me this time. When I opened my eyes, I was standing alone in a room. I was standing in the home of my betrayers. I couldn't move. I was afraid. I thought they'd know that I had come and would be waiting for me, just like they had waited inside this very tusk. I was afraid they would tie me up again, that the poison snakes would strike. But the silence was unbroken. The whole house was still. And without really knowing what I did, I started to search every room every floor, every cabinet. I found his journals, Atrus's never-ending journals. I found the book that brought me back to this world, the lesson world he called Jananin. Oh, Tamara, my love, how long have I been trapped here? How much of my life has been eaten by the fog? The face I see in the lagoon isn't one I remember ever wearing. It's so much older, so much more savage. But it is me. It is Savidro, and I remember what they did. How they led my people to death. I've returned several times now to Tamana. I'm searching for some sign of his sons. I was certain they would run back to their father, 
but so much time has passed, so many years in which to forget about my people. Is that what happened, Atrus? Safe in your beautiful new home, enjoying life with your dear wife and family? Did you become so busy envisioning new worlds that you forgot the ones you had already created? I must be very careful. I must not let them know that I am free. I will read what journals I can to figure out where his two sons are hiding, and when I found the sons again, when I've got the whole family together, I'll bring them down. Atrus and his family will suffer, the way I suffered for years. Cirrus and Akina are not in Tomana. Every day I become more and more convinced. Atrus's sons are not there. What happened, Atrus? Did you grow tired of them, the way you tired of Narayan? Did you abandon them, the way you abandoned my people behind your shield? It does not matter. I can still take revenge against their father. Now that I am no longer stuck on Jananan, I can avenge all the dead in my world. I have already reopened his other books. I have begun making changes in those worlds, using his own lessons against him. There is still much more work to be done, but, but eventually I will lure him into this tusk. I will find some way to make him follow me here from Tamana. For now, I will concentrate on the Orbiter. It's not a natural part of its world. The material that it creates is like nothing I've ever seen. It reminds me, just a little, of the shield. And if it is the same material, it can't be damaged. But perhaps I can damage the other devices. No, it cannot be true. Surely his journals deceive me. He says he's brought them back. He says he's given his dunny brethren new life. But how? How can one man have so much power? How can one man's writings reawaken a dead world? I don't know what this means. By all that is sacred tomorrow, what can it mean? It doesn't change a thing. I can still continue as I planned. I can still seek revenge for my people. I will make my enemies suffer. By the weaving tomorrow, this changes everything. I have found a way to reprogram his scanning device. It requires scavenging parts from another mechanism in the tusk, but I think the gears I leave can still be operated by hand. It is finished. All is ready for Atrus's arrival. Tonight I will sleep among the ghosts. Then tomorrow I will link into Tamana. When I link out, I will be carrying his book. May the spirits of my people serve to guide me in this. Alright, and as you can see, it's not that long of a journal, so that's why I decided to, to read it within the video instead of making a supplemental video. So this tells us a great deal, and uh, does refer uh, to this age as Jananan. So we do know this is called Jananan. Now I'm going to refer back to Atris's journal here. Atris mentioned Jananan at the very end of his journal. Um, the book said Jananan. Now, it doesn't say too much about Jananan. It simply says that it was uh, the age that might have helped him the most. And one of the ages that he completely forgot to revisit. In fact, I think it says it's the only age that he never uh, got back to revisiting. A little bit more about uh, the journal we just read. I don't want to go over too much because you just heard me read it, but in case you skipped and uh, in case you missed some things. Savidro, the, the guy we saw um, at the top of this tusk area, the guy we chased, the guy that stole the book, was the one breaking in and reading Atrus's journals, and he is plotting revenge for something that Atrus's sons did. Uh, upon finding out that uh, Atrus's sons were in fact not around anywhere. Now we know where they are, but Savidro does not. Um, so it sounds like Savidro blames uh, Atrus's sons for um, the death of his own age, and he talks about um, a woman called Tamara, which sounds like uh, his wife or a significant other of some kind. Now we can do this. We can put various uh, this, this tentacle thing here. And I'm not sure exactly what it does, but it's from that thing. And, uh, let's see if we can click on some things. What is this? Oh. Okay, just writing utensils. So, now we know why Savidro stole Atrus's book. He wanted Atrus to come after him so we could teach him some kind of lesson. Um, but, um, we're not Atrus, so won't he be surprised? Alright. Can we do some? Oh, there's a crank here. Let's check that out. Alright, well that 
seems to have some energy that uh, lifts up these pieces in here. Let's see, if, let's put the tentacle here. This is some kind of plant of some kind, it looks like. Let's turn that. Oh, so it opens the plant. So it looks like electricity impacts this plant somehow. That would be what I would get out of it. Flytrap of some kind, perhaps. Alright, and then did we get... We didn't really look... Oh, we did see... I was talking when we were looking at this. This is, um... A sort of, uh... Ball of some kind? And three... Four wooden balls. So these four wooden balls are the same weight as the... This crystally type ball. What happens? Yeah. Once again, a scale. He seems to be really, uh into measuring the weight of things. Alright, let me see. The floor looks kind of neat. I see like a, what looks like a painting of some kind. But the eyes are messed up somehow. Alright. Now in that journal it looked like there were pictures of like puzzles and stuff, so we might be able to find some other information besides backstory there. So... Alright, so I think we've explored this room pretty substantially, but there's, except this uh, thing back here, so let's check that out. Looks important. Ooh. Open. Okay, so this looks like an elevator, which is good because we know Sabidro was up there last we saw. So let's, let's check it out. Let's see if it works. Hopefully, it does. sesame. Open sesame? Close sesame. <laughs> Magic words of some kind. Oh good. Wow, it works. That's so unusual. <laughs> Equipment that works. The first time we try it. What madness is this? Alright. So once again we have a window view. Can we see? Oh, there he is. And he's got the book. Atrix? Is that you? No. Come to rescue your book so soon? Not yet, old friend. Not yet. Odd. He put like a paper in there and it brought up that thing. Huh. Well, I could try to shout to him, but you know, honestly, telling us, telling him that we're not Atris, I don't know if that's the greatest plan. We do want that book back. I mean, Atris should have come after it himself, but we don't want a, an age of people to suffer. I mean, who, who knows what he would do if he linked into that age and uh, try to get revenge that way or something, I mean, I don't know. So, we should probably figure out more by not really letting him know that we are, in fact, not Atris, even though we said we weren't. He obviously couldn't hear us. What's he doing? I don't think he can get into that book because it was locked, if you recall. So that's a good sign, but we don't want him destroying it either. All right, well, let's hit this button. Oh, I guess I should have tried that, uh, that door to see if it would open. But we need to get in the way that he is. So. Let's not say, say we did. <laughs> okay. So, I wonder if we can get it so that door opens the other way. So let's, let's see if there's a way to do that. Alright, okay, so you can, we know how to make this elevator go up, it's by hitting this, and we can hit it from over here. So there might be something we can tweak underneath the elevator um, to, get it to, to get it to work the way we want it to. How very much like the mechanical age in Mist, making the elevator go somewhere else so we can get to the bottom. Hopefully it works though. But it's the only thing I can think of, there wasn't anything in this room that we saw that would help things. 
All right. We get it. The elevator's gone off game. <laughs> All right, cool. We can get under here. Excellent. All right, so we've got... Hey, that looks familiar. In fact, all these things look familiar. If we look at Sabidro's journal... Let's flip backwards, shall we? Up oh, there's... That looks like... That, but this one's sideways. Oops, wrong journal, I'm sorry. Alright, and then... See, there, this one's the lowest, and then up two, okay. And this one is down, and these are fitting perfect. So I'm guessing... Talking, I was talking about um, getting the gears, getting this thing to work. So let's try to let's try to put these things in the way that they're illustrated, shall we? Let's see if that helps. I don't like starting with this one because this one's a little weird. This one was just like that. Um, here's the gears. We need to make it so. There we go. Okay, so it was like it's it was the one little um, gear was in the little indentation there. And I'll put up a. I'll put up the picture in picture so you can see the journal entry without me having to pull it up constantly. And then this one was all the way down, like this. This is testing my memory school skills because I didn't write any of this down. Gasp. Alright. I think this last one's always the one I forget, so I'm going to pull it open again. Okay, so this one is long way, long way. So we want two of these turned with the long way out. So like, let's have this one with the long way out. This one with the long way out. And, okay, so good. I'm just checking. For some reason, this is always the one that like really trips me up. I don't know why. Okay. That should be right. Let's try it, shall we? Let's see if we can make the elevator go to our liking. Servidro, we're coming for you, and we're not Atris. Spinny, 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 spinny. <laughs> okay. As you can see, you can actually see some of the stuff down there if you look through. It's hard to tell though. Alright, anyway. Oopsie. Oopsie elevator. Excellent, it turned. Good. As you recall before, it went straight up. Okay, open. Oh. <gasps> Crappy linked somewhere. They took the book with him. Uh, only there was a more subtle way we could have snuck up on him now. Alright, well let's see what we can find in here. Cool looking room, can I get down there? Jump! Run and jump! Run and jump! Not an option. Ooh, so like, little beetle. Are they lights? I don't know what those are. That's cool. Look at that. It's a cool ceiling. I dig it. But this was the thing. This is the thing we should probably be paying attention to right here. Um, he put. Oh, we went past it. He put a paper in here. Oh, there's a button. Let's hit the button. Wow.
My sons, I promise to teach you the secrets of my ages. This world is the first step on your journey. Search the island and you'll find three linking books. Each connects to an age in which you must be born to live. Hello, Atreus. Been a long time. Sorry I'm not there to greet you in person, but I just didn't think it would be wise, considering how long I've been stuck here. Trapped in these lesson ages by two very greedy little boys. Your sons, Atreus, Cirrus, and Akinar. Of course, they're not so little anymore, not so innocent. I thought a lot about innocence these last few years and what happens when it gets lost. Worried about relation? I have it. Worried about friends, relatives, people you can't get back? I know just how you feel. But if you want to do something about it, you're going to have to open this device. And there's just one problem. I've changed the three symbols that do that. So if you want to reclaim relation, you're going to have to take your own class. <laughs> Find the three symbols, Atris. And don't keep me waiting forever. Well, that was Savidro. And actually, he's played by a reasonably famous actor named Brad Dourif. Um, you might... Uh, the, the most notable thing for me was he was in Lord of the Rings. He was, um, Wormtail in Lord of the Rings. And, uh, he does have this tendency to play sort of people that are a little bit crazy, a little bit on the edge. So, maybe that'll give you an idea of what we have uh, in store when it comes to Savidro. But anyway, this seems like the perfect time to leave off a Savidro told us what we have to do. Apparently this age was uh, used to teach uh, Atris's sons some lessons, which kind of would make sense why Atris never came back here. I mean, he already taught his sons the lessons. Apparently he kind of failed in a way, because his sons turned out not in the way he had hoped. But uh, it doesn't seem like there's any people here or anything. It's just an age specifically for that. So uh, anyway, in the next video we will try to uh, Try to maybe find some of these ages and get the symbols and try to eventually get to release on. Should be quite a task. I'll see you guys next time.